Welcome back to another QuickBooks training video. In our previous video, I showed you how to enter the customer invoice screen, how to change the payment terms, the invoice date, and the due date of the invoice. We also looked at products and services and adding new products and services and adding descriptions. You can edit the description by clicking in the description box and let's say our sale to the south was a sale of goods A we have a quantity and then a rate if we are providing products, we can enter the amount of products sold. If we are providing a service, then this could be hours sold. So let's say we sold three of goods A. Let's tab across. The rate for each one is $25. Tab across you'll see that the total of the invoice is $75. So three at $25. We can then add a second line to the invoice just by clicking in the second line. And once again, we can repeat the process. So let's do another sales south. This time sale of goods B we just sold one of them and that was $35. We can then add another product or service. This time let's say it's a sales north, sale of goods C. And let's say we sold five of them at $10 each. And I'm just using the tab button to move from one box to the other. You can use the mouse to click around and change your box. You'll notice we have a balance due or the total of the invoice. If we're looking just to post this invoice to the system, click save, which is this button here that will then save the invoice to the system. If we're looking to print off the invoice, and email it or post it to our customer then use the print or preview button here if we click print or preview then print or preview again it will save our invoice that we've created and give you a preview of the invoice that we have created so you'll see we have the invoice to the customer including the contact name of the customer the invoice number the terms the date the due date this is all information that we entered into quickbooks and then we have our sales south sales south sales north our quantities our rates and our amounts and then the invoice total later on in this course i will show you how to add messages to invoices such as bank details and perhaps other wording to invoices to thank your customers another important information you may want to add to an invoice and that will be covered later on in this tutorial if you hover over the actual invoice you have an opportunity to save the invoice or print it if you're looking to email the invoice then you can save an email or you can print and post. Once you're ready, exit the preview box by clicking the cross. Because the invoice has been saved, you can click cross again to get out of the invoice screen. Alternatively, if you go down to the bottom here and click the drop down box, 
you can save and create another invoice or save and close. If we save and close, we'll go back to the customer account. If we click save and new, the invoice will be saved again and we have a fresh template for another invoice. This time the customer details are not brought up automatically because we haven't come through the customer account to raise an invoice. But simply just enter the customer you want to invoice. If they're on Sage, they will appear down here. Click on them and the details will appear. Click on the link to go to the next video.